Hello everyone and welcome to part 4 of my Thomas and Friends DVD collection and with this video we'll be going from seasons 17 or series 17 I should say to series 18 plus all the specials as well and uh, we'll start off with King of the Railway but first just to let you know that um, the complete series 17 and 18 have not come on DVD yet so uh, that's why there's four DVDs here from series 17 and four DVDs here from series 18. So here is the first feature film, King of the Railway. And uh, this marked a significant change again in the Thomas and Friends era. Um, Sharon Miller thankfully had stepped down as head writer and Sam Barlow was no longer the story executive. Um, Andrew Brenner, who apparently had written on some of the earlier uh, Thomas and Friends series had come in and uh, there were a whole new team of writers involved and I'll explain um, a bit more about that in a second but here we go there's the DVD the new characters meet new friends Stephen, Millie, Connor and Caitlin and the bonus features four fantastic guess who puzzles sing-along song working together again new sing-along song searching everywhere new sing-along song it's going to be a great day so there we are, and here's the, that was the outer case there, and the main case is pretty much exactly the same, and there's the side, and the back. Out of all uh, the films up to this point, I would say that uh, King of the Railway was probably the best one. I did enjoy the film, I did enjoy the story, and there's the disc, and that's a pamphlet advertising free child ticket to Thomas Land. Yeah, I just thought the characters that they introduced, like Stephen, who is based on the original uh, steam, first ever steam engine, um, Stevenson's rocket, was introduced. And here we go now with the first DVD of Thomas and Friends Series 17, The Thomas Way, Full Steam Ahead to Great Adventures. So again, um, this was the first series to have Andrew Brenner as the head writer with all new writers, and also another significant change was that um, uh, Michael Angelis had ceased being the narrator and in came the new narrator, Mark Morahan, who I was a little bit sceptical when I first heard him on a few of the episodes, but I've grown to quite like his style and I think it suits the new uh, Thomas and Friends style. And there's the episodes there if you want to pause to have a look at the episodes there. And the bonus features, Really Useful Engines, Mr. Perkins Postcard, The Earl's Quiz, Mr. Perkins Storytime, and Who's That Engine? One thing I really like that they've introduced um, in these new series DVDs is the Mr. Perkins Storytime. Because it's introducing uh, the younger generation of fans um, to the original Railway series. Which I think is really great because, you know, it's getting the, uh, this generation of fans into and aware of where the Thomas and Friends franchise originally started so I like that they've started to reintroduce where it all basically came from and that's what I like about these uh, new series as well is the, the when it comes to the writing you know it's updated and it has it's especially aimed for this generation of kids and everything but there's enough in it for the older fans to enjoy as well, especially with the references to the old series and everything. So this is the second DVD, Spills and Thrills. And you get the disc. And then another one of these little story booklets in here. This one, Spills and Thrills with Thomas. And I think it has a collection of short stories from Thomas and Friends. So as you can see, there's three stories in here. I'll just give you a quick look through the book. There we go, nicely illustrated. So yeah, I do like that uh, it makes references to the older series and to the books, but also it's up to date. We've, you know, you've got, you've got to expect that in this day and age, you have to move with the times and the sort of demographic you're aiming for. But I really do like that these new stories have um, got something for all fans. And that three strikes and out formula that Sharon Miller predominantly uh, introduced into the previous CGI series has now uh, gone, which I think is on only serves to improve Thomas and Friends 
all together. And here is the next DVD of Thomas and Friends from series 17. Now with the first one, they're featured, how many episodes was there? Let's have a look, sorry. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five. So there's six episodes on this DVD. And there was... <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six episodes on this. And the bonus features, again, really useful engines, Mr. Perkins postcard, the Earl's quiz, Mr. Perkins story time, and who's that engine, and meet Porter. And on this DVD, uh, Santa's little engine, uh, it features three bonus episodes, and I think four, four episodes uh, that are uh, Christmas-based, yeah. Santa's Little Engine, No Snow for Thomas, Frozen Turntable, and The Missing Decorations. And the bonus features, Character Capsules, Mr. Perkins Storytime, The Elves Quiz, Mr. Perkins Postcard, and Who's That Engine. And the bonus episodes are Too Many Fire Engines, Henry's Hero, and Phantom Express. So that's that. There's the spine. So yeah, I, I really enjoyed Series 17. It was definitely, out of all the full CGI series, Series 17 up to this point was definitely the better. And next we have uh, seven more episodes from Railway Mischief. Seven mischievous tales from the rails. And there's the back. And the bonus features on this are really useful engines, Mr. Po Perkins postcard, the Earl's quiz, Mr. Perkins story time, and who's that engine? And there's the episodes if you want to uh, pause and have a look at them. Some really good episodes, and uh, I really like, really like the style of them. It kind of reminds me of um, a series that I used to watch when I was a, when I was a child back in the 1980s, early 90s, uh, called Tugs. Um, which was created by David Mitten, who was the Thomas and Friends original director, as well as Richard Cardona, who was the producer of Thomas and Friends and Tugs. And these were sort of basically 10 to 20 minute episodes about tugboats, kind of in model, model uh, designs like the original Thomas series. And um, the feel of those episodes of tugs is kind of I get that sort of feeling when I watch these new episodes of Thomas and Friends I can't quite explain why but I do and this is uh, the Thomas and Friends Tale of the Brave movie which came out after series 17 and um, I, I, I like this one I think even more than King of the Railway I just thought it was really good Meet the New Friends Gator, Marion, Timothy and Reg um, the bonus features Guess Who Puzzles, four of them. Two fantastic new sing-along songs, Mr. Perkins' postcard and story time. And that's the outer casing. And here we have the inner casing. There we are, plastic case. Really good film again. Um, only watched it once, but I do remember enjoying it a lot more um, than uh, any of the previous films, even though I thought King of the Railway was very good. So that's Tale of the Brave. And then next we have the first DVD of Series 18. Now with the four DVDs of Series 17 that you see here, it contained all 26 episodes from Season, or Series 17 I should say. Um, and let me just go back, back a step here. These four DVDs feature 25 of the 26 episodes of C Series 18. But you can get all of Series 18 on DVD, and I'll talk about that a bit in a sec. So there we are, Trouble on the Tracks, the first DVD. And there's the back. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we have seven episodes there. And the bonus features, Really Useful Engines, Mr. Perkins Postcard, The Earl's Quiz, Mr. Perkins Storytime, and Who's That Engine? Now, I actually believe that Series 18 was actually even better than Series 17, which is really great because I thought that, you know, maybe the quality might drop after Series 17, but it's actually improved. I really liked a lot of these stories. This is probably my favourite DVD of the four DVDs of Series 18 available. This is Dinos and Discoveries. There's the spine. 
and the back. And there's the episodes again. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So there's six episodes here. Bonus features, really useful engines, Mr. Perkins postcard, the Earl's Quiz, Mr. Perkins story time, and who's that engine? So with Mr. Perkins story time, like I said, he reads a story from the original railway series by the Reverend W. Audrey. Really nice touch. And this uh, plastic case has a much shinier, smooth feel to it than that sort of rough plastic that we'd had on the other DVD cases. And here's the Christmas DVD from series 18, the Christmas engines. And there's the spine and the back. And there's the episodes. Last Train for Christmas, Long Lost Friend, Duncan and the Humbug, Duck in the Water, and The Perfect Gift. So you've got five episodes there. And there's the bonus features, new sing-along song, It's Christmas Time, Really Useful Engines, Mr. Perkins Storytime, The Elves Quiz, Mr. Parker Perkins Postcard, and Who's That Engine? There we go. And there's the disc. And last but not least, the fourth DVD, which it was released not long ago of series 18, which makes up 25 of the 26 episodes, Signals Crossed, Mix-Ups and Slip-Ups on the Railway. And there's the spine. There's the back. And there's the six episodes, I believe, uh, from this DVD. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, is that seven? Signals Crossed, Marion and the Pipe, Duncan and the Grumpy Passenger, No Steam Without Coal, Thomas and the Emergency Cable, Spencer's VIP, and Toby's Bright Idea. Yeah, that's seven episodes there. And the bonus features, Really Useful Engines, The Earl's Quiz, Who's That Engine, Mr. Perkins Storytime, Mr. Perkins Postcard, and New Sing-Along Song, Hey Hey Thomas. There we are. And there's the disc. Again, a little pamphlet there, available at Amazon. So there we go. Now, you can own all 26 episodes of Series 18, because the last missing episode is on this feature film special, The Adventure Begins. Now, this was a Asda exclusive originally, but um, I think it's now or will be available soon on Amazon. So, all new special feature. And this basically is taken from the two original books of the Railway series and was recreated for a feature length special. Um, and I think it was very well recreated. Again, like I said, it, it gives enough to the young fans or this generation of fans to enjoy, but also it's a nice nod to the uh, older generation of fans like myself. And it was, yeah, nicely recreated based on the first two books of the Reverend W. Audrey's Classic Railway series. And the bonus features on this, um, Old Reliable Edward, which is the Series 18 episode, plus three fantastic sing-along songs. And what is also great um, is that uh, it, it adds the little details, like James in the original uh, book was black, and he is painted black for this special feature. And we find out that Thomas is originally from Brighton, and the reasons behind him getting uh, the number one uh, put on his on his uh, person, I should say, um, and why he gets to be number one when Edward Henry Gordon and James were already given numbers, which is nicely explained in this film. Really, really great film. Um, probably my favourite now, um, with one exception, which is this one. Sodor's Legend of the Lost Treasure. This is my favourite feature film of Thomas and Friends, without a doubt. Really good film, good story, nice writing, great adventure. And uh, there's another main reason, as you can see on the back. Um, it introduces three characters, Bert, Rex and Mike, who were characters from the original Railway series who had never been seen on TV before. This was the first time they appeared, so it was nice that they introduced three character, three old characters, really, into <laughs> for the first time on TV or DVD. So that was a really nice touch, and also we get CGI Donald and Douglas and Daisy, as well as uh, new characters. 
as well. It was just a really great film, and it's a, like I said, it had a nice mixture for the younger fans as well as the older fans. And that's the slipcase, and there's the front side there and the back. And I am so far enjoying uh, series 19, the episodes that I have seen. So there we go, there's the bonus features for Guess Who Puzzles, Sing Along Song, We Make a Team Together, and Sing Along Song, Never Overlook an Engine. And let me just open this up, and there's the disc. And again, another pamphlet, just advertising merchandise there. And there we have it. And uh, here's the last DVD, which I've already done an unboxing for, and this contains episodes from the current series, Series 19. Never seen on TV, but I have already done an unboxing of that if you want to check that video out. So there we are. That's it. All in a muddle there. Um, that is my complete Thomas & Friends DVD collection, Series 1 to 19 or what's available of series 19 on DVD so I do own every episode and special from series 1 to 19 that's currently available on DVD in the next part I will be um, showing you my Thomas and Friends complete 65th anniversary box set just to show you what that looks like and um, yeah so there we go I hope you enjoy this video and don't forget like subscribe share and comment and um, i will see you folks on the next video thanks for watching uh, bye bye